Byron High School has developed a Moodle site for each one of our main high school math classes. And they're listed here on the left. What we have done is developed a master Moodle site. And then at the beginning of each semester, that master Moodle site is then shared with each teacher that's teaching that course. And then that teacher can tweak and adjust it as they see fit for their class. Looking at our geometry course here, which is once again taught without any textbooks, we have general course information here, our reference sheets, our outline. Here we have the office hours of the teacher, when they're available, when they're not available, and the assignments that are due for each day of the month. As we continue on down here, we have what's covered, the outline of when the quizzes are and the exam, the essential learner outcomes that the students should be uh, learning during this section. Uh, we also have the class notes and the class videos listed here with homework underneath and additional resources below that. If we click on one of our guided notes, which are the class notes that the students get from as a PDF, which is basically our smart board files printed off and uh, or not printed off, but exported as a PDF. So it includes all the teachers handwriting and notes. We can also go ahead and take a look at one of the class videos. We'll go ahead and do that here. And now that comes up and we can hit play. Hot. In a 4545 90 triangle, you can go ahead and watch the video as a if you remember, the teacher talks and is does anything on the board. The it's all recorded. You can also maximize this the window so that the students the can uh, get a bigger view of it. Right the students can then pause. The students can then also rewind so that they can go back and watch and rewatch well, certain segments. Equal, that means Moodle also gives you the ability to go ahead and check to see who is watching the videos so you can make sure each student is doing what they're supposed to be doing. In this case, this section is, or chapter is taught as a reverse classroom where the students need to watch the videos at home. And then they come to class and work on the problems in class with the teacher there to help them and other classmates are there to help them. We can also go ahead and take a look at the homework down here. Here's some of the homework. This one happened to be generated by CUDA. CUDA is a software that we purchased for $767 for Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. We have a site license for a total of three years for that price. You are able to customize the topics you want to cover and difficulty whether you want roots in your answers or approximations and open response, hard, medium, easy. So CUDA is a very user-friendly program. So this is the homework. We can also go ahead then and look at the homework key so that the students can check to see if they are right. And in this case, our teacher has gone ahead and uh, handwritten all the notes of how to be able to get the answers. Down below here, we have additional resources to help students better understand the topics that are addressed in this chapter. In this case, it's sometimes links to other videos which help explain it, because sometimes just it coming from another person helps the student. We also have interactive files down here. This happens to be one of them. We can go ahead and drag this one here. And then down below here, it lists the ratio of all the sides. And here it gives the exact ratio rather than the decimal approximation. And then the students can go ahead and then see how that no matter what it is for a 45, 45, 90 right triangle, the sides are always proportional in the same way. All these that are interactive are very similar where students can actually 
Let's visualize and work with what's going on here. We also have, in this case, an online quiz in which students can then go ahead and uh, practice some of these problems and then check to see if they are right. We also have extra practice problems here. Uh, explanation of law of sines, law of cosines. This would be done for each chapter and the other chapters of this course are all hidden so you don't have to scroll through them or can't see them right now, but they are there. And then at the end of each quarter we have a section for review to help our students get ready for the finals. This is an Algebra 2 uh, Moodle site. Here at the very top we have an introductory video for the students to be able to watch so they have an idea of how to use the Moodle site and what's on the Moodle site and all that. Also underneath we have general information. Uh, we have a form set up here so that if students have a question from watching any of the videos they can click on the form, enter a video or not a video, a question, and uh, then the teacher is able to see what that is and respond to it. Now, this particular teacher, this particular teacher, instead of having a Google Calendar embedded, has a Google Doc embedded for their assignments so that students can go ahead and check to see what's going on for any given day of the week, and then they can actually scroll down and take a look at what's going on the following weeks. Now, once again, this is set up just like the other ones where you have your essential learner outcomes. We have video lessons. Here we have video lesson done by the teacher. Here we have a flash, link to a flash uh, website named Hippocampus that pretty much explains very similar material to walk them through that. Then we also have the guided notes down here, all the notes from the smart board. Um, here we also have the homework for the chapter and the answers. And then we also at the very top have the solutions manual. For this particular course, the uh, course still technically uses a textbook. Here's our solutions manual. Uh, but as the textbooks wear out, they will eventually be going totally uh, without textbooks. and. Uh, once again, everything will be housed here within our Moodle site. We are now looking at a statistics uh, Moodle site here for our school. Um, the statistics site has been up for about a half year to a year longer than most of the others. So the statistics teacher has developed some more interactive things that uh, students can do with the Moodle. In this case, he has a project that the students work on and a scatter plot uh, project along with the Gapminder project. The students uh, have information about the project. Then they have a chat. They have a form in which they need to post a question or a comment and then respond to each other's. Um, so it's getting the students to interact with stuff more than just uh, sitting in class and doing stuff. Down below here, he has a practice quiz. He has his answer key like we saw before in the geometry website for the answer key for the homework, all handwritten. But down below here, he did a video answer key. So he's writing out and talking through the problems for the students. For the most part, we go ahead and use our smart board recorders to be able to record our lessons and then post them on YouTube and then we embed them in our Moodle site. Now, there's other things out there you can use to be able to record lessons. In this case, this is a voice thread. We can go ahead and watch it. You basically upload a PowerPoint and then you can go ahead and uh, <coughs> see all the different slides here. But the neat thing about VoiceThread is the teacher can go ahead and talk through this. Now I've been throwing out a couple, a term here about terms like comparing twins and some people with the same characteristics. Now the other okay. nice thing is students can then go ahead and uh, comment or question on each one of these slides, either with text by typing something, with audio, or a video response. 
and then the teacher can see that and respond to it and so on. And that occurs for each one of these slides. Another tool that's out there that you can use is author stream in which you can once again upload a PowerPoint and you can talk over it as you go through your PowerPoint. And so that was also used in this one. So hopefully that gives you an overview of the things that we were doing with our modal sites and kind of what they look like. If you have more questions, feel free to go ahead and contact us.